best live act award. Firstly, how does it feel to be honoured here? Obviously, it was what is a massive day for the music industry in terms of charity. Oh, it's phenomenal. I mean, today's about Nordau Province. The awards kind of come in second, so hopefully we'll raise a lot of money for incredible charity. And, and it reminds you the importance of music. You know, it's, we like to be celebrated as a band, but music is a communication tool and is a, it's just a help for kids that, that maybe struggle in other ways to communicate and to understand. So it's phenomenal, the power. And I think actually the awards could have come in second to the, the help that it's doing to young kids. So, I mean, obviously, best live act, you, you know, you guys know be- as, uh, as well as a lot of other artists, the joy and the happiness that you bring to these massive crowds when you're in the stadiums or ever performing. But what North Off and Robin is doing, it brings a completely different meaning to the power of music, doesn't it? You mentioned ch- children, but it's not just children, it's vulnerable adults and stuff as well. It's, um, the work they're doing is amazing, isn't it? It's phenomenal. The, bo- the boys actually had a... No, so we've been, we've, we've been sort of supporting the charity for over a decade, but only recently did we get to see the work in action of it. It was really arresting, it was really an emotional experience. Then yeah. some of what, what, what we do, you know, in the shade, because I think this is really, really important work for, for kids and adults that really need it, like they say, and yeah. um, even just to be, to, to see what an effect it has on these kids was, was really something that I, I'll never forget yeah. that at all. And that's why it's so important for us to help and support the charity. Brilliant. Uh, 750 grand raised last year. Are you boys going to be getting your credit cards out and checkbooks out? <laughs> and bid, bid, are we going to beat last year's total or what? Do you think we're a co-player? Uh, yeah. No, no. I think, I think we're just here to encourage the other rich folk in the room. Oh, OK, all right, yeah. Right. That's right. why I'm, I'm wearing green because I'm Robin Hood today. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling the rest and we're going to give them the evening. <laughs> um, and Simon, you've just been at Glastow <laughs> yep. with uh, Empire State Bastard. Yes. Any... <laughs> 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 I mean, it sounds amazing. Have you got any particular highlight or favourite moment from Glastow? And, you know, was that the first yeah, big we, gig with the, with that band? Or yeah, we've done a, we've done a handful of shows, and we're a really, really heavy and kind of quite obnoxious band. So it felt that we were ruining everyone's <laughs> peace and love weekend. Everyone was having a great time, and then we, they came over to us, and we were just screaming at them. But Glastonbury is a magical place. I think the whole nation watched it in the telly this weekend. And it's phenomenal. And again, just the flip side of the music, like see to just see hundreds of thousands of people sharing happy to be in each other's space and just want to celebrate it's like that's what music is in the last few years because of pandemic and everything it's been really tough to remember the simplicity of the necessity of music so be at glass though thinking about nordoff robbins it's just amazing the disparity and how important music is to us all so it was nice to feel that celebrated like that Exactly, and we talked of music being celebrated at Glastonbury and stuff. You guys have been on the scene a long, long time now, haven't you? Uh, in the public eye, tour after tour, album after album. Your fellow Scotsman, Lewis Capaldi, we saw what happened with him at, at Glastonbury. Have you guys ever been in a similar position with your mental, mental health where it all gets a bit too much? The support he got at Glastonbury was amazing. Have you, you know, have you ever felt anything like that where you need to take a break or you should take its toll? If it's, it can, it does, it, it, you know, it's, it's quite exhausting. You need a lot of stamina when you're going on the road for a year or two years at a time. And and we're lucky that, I guess, as a band, we've got each other. So that kind of gives you a support network that perhaps can stave off those, you know, it's a panic. Whereas like, someone like Lewis, he's, he's experiencing it all himself. The pressure to be charming, funny, to sing amazing. And, and, and he's, he's obviously struggling. So I think more power to Lewis. I think it's important that people are able to put themselves first and I think the support he was shown by the fans says a lot a, a lot about the ways people look at mental health now I think five years ago there might have been for even ten years ago a little bit of oh come on suck it up yeah, and I think I'm really pleased we're at a level where it's like no no that's what he needs to do support him and yeah we, we're we're lucky you know we've been doing this for a long time and we've been close to those points but fortunately we've always been able to rejuvenate and kind of come back but that's because we have support of each other so well said, brilliant. Cheers, fellas. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the awards. I'll see you in there. Nice one. Cheers, fellas. Nice one.